Clone Robotics is going to provide the market with androids featuring the most human-like upper limbs. The development is based on McKibben Air Muscles, invented in the 1950s for use in prosthetics. Essentially, these are mesh tubes with a sealed inner layer that operates in pairs, similar to human muscles. One serves as a flexor and the other as an extensor. Movement is facilitated by hydraulic or pneumatic drive. However, clone engineers didn't want a bulky external pumps, so they filled the shell with liquid acetaldehyde and ran a powerful heating element through it. Under the influence of the current, the element quickly vaporizes the liquid. The temperature rises from 20 to 70 degrees Celsius and the pressure increases 6.6 .6 times. This approach provides a truly rapid contraction of the artificial muscle, but more time is required for its relaxation as the liquid cools. The bones of the artificial arm closely mimic the structure of human limbs and the joints provide almost the same range of movements as those available to humans. Developers claim that the robotic hand has 27 degrees of freedom, including wrist and thumb movements, equivalent to those of the human hand. Deliveries of the clone artificial arm are set to begin this year, and the product's price has not been disclosed. The company's next project will involve developing a torso with a rigid spine, including 124 muscles in the neck, shoulder girdle, arms, chest, and upper back. The robotic torso will move on a battery-powered platform. The Florida Institute for Human and Machine Cognition, after years of training robots like the Boston Dynamics Atlas DRC version and NASA's Valkyrie Robonaut to walk in complex terrains, has decided to create its own robot. The work began a couple of years ago, and finally, we have seen the result, the Nadia robot. This humanoid was built from scratch to perform useful tasks at human speed in a human environment. The robot combines electric and hydraulic drives, electric drives in the hands with seven degrees of freedom, three in the pelvis, and hydraulic systems in the torso with two degrees of freedom and five in the legs. Nadia's joints are designed to maximize the range of motion. The carbon fiber body covering most of the robot ensures safe interaction with the environment. Unlike Atlas and Valkyrie, Nadia also supports immersive teleoperation with virtual reality. Ideally, the robot should autonomously perform tasks it can handle, with humans taking full control for more complex tasks. Engineers are working to create a robot with hardware, software, and an interface that allows the human-machine team to enter an unknown environment, explore it, map it, and then perform meaningful tasks. Meanwhile, analysts from one of the world's largest banks, Goldman Sachs, believe that by the middle of the next decade, the market value of humanoid robots will exceed $150 billion. Experts predict that by 2030, humanoid robots like Tesla's Optimus could cover 4% of the labor needs in American manufacturing. However, the entire market will be valued at only $6 billion. In the following five years, Goldman Sachs analysts predict a significant leap. By 2035, the humanoid robot market is expected to be valued at a $152 million. By this time, such devices will provide 2% of the global demand for elderly care personnel. It is worth noting that in their forecast, experts rely on the emergence of new players in this segment. But in any case, this turnover is comparable to about a third of the global smartphone market in 2021. Whether this means that an ordinary person will be able to easily purchase a robot like a phone is difficult to say, but Elon Musk promises that Tesla intends to produce its humanoid Optimus robots in the millions, priced at $20,000. Meanwhile, there's discussion online about a provocative video featuring the interactive toy Furby. The owner, programmer Jessica Card, decided to improve its capabilities by connecting it to a Raspberry Pi mini computer, running special software, and integrating it with the particularly talkative chatbot ChatGPT. After about a month of preparations, the toy was able to engage in conversation. Naturally, the responses were generated by artificial intelligence. Some of them made everyone nervous. Initially, the toy politely greeted and introduced itself, asking what the user would like to talk about. The owner decided not to waste time and immediately asked about something that concerns many people. Does Furby have a secret conspiracy to take over the world? The robotic bird took a long time to think about what to say and then presented a whole plan that would allow similar developments to establish world dominance. Dominance. Canadian robotics student Mikhail Ashkar has built an experimental robot that continues moving on a treadmill even with the motors turned off, thanks to its counterbalance. 
drawing inspiration from the kinesiological features of animals. Ashkar created a bilaterally symmetric robot equipped with metal rods as bones, 3D printed polymer pulleys for joints, and thin steel cables to mimic tendons. Like a real dog, each of the four legs has three joints, mechanically coordinated with the others. During the robot's first test, the developer was in for a surprise. As soon as he activated the robot's drives, it continued moving on its own, without motor support, with the treadmill being the only component necessary to sustain movement. Specifically, it reaches speeds of up to six kilometers per hour on the treadmill. However, the robot is not a perpetual motion machine and still uses its motors for movement, such as jumping and stepping over obstacles. A team of engineers from South Korea has presented an original solution to improve communication between autonomous vehicles and pedestrians. The idea is to redesign the eyes of the cars, so if the car's eyes are looking in another direction, pedestrians on the road will be more attentive. Who do you think would win in a battle between a human and a plant? The answer is not so clear if the plant is armed. You won't believe it, but the machete in the video is controlled by this seemingly harmless potted flower. The system uses an open source microcontroller connected to the plant to read weak electrical signals in its leaves. With the help of specialized software, these signals are real-time matched with the movements of an industrial robot's joints holding the machete. Thus, the machete's movement is determined based on data received from the plant. Essentially, the plant serves as the robot's brain. Engineers from Japan have created an inflatable avatar robot that integrates with the telepresence system. Using cables and servo motors, it gestures and moves, allowing a remote user to communicate and interact with people. Modern avatar robots can be divided into two types, complex and expensive humanoid robots that enable physical interaction with the environment and simpler and more affordable telepresence systems, such as tablets on wheels. They enable people to simulate presence through video calls, move around a space, and survey it with a camera. Engineers are already exploring ways to improve the capabilities of these simpler systems to make them more versatile and useful. In the future, with technological advancements, the distinction between these two types of devices may disappear entirely. The robot was tested at a symposium held in a hybrid format, with some participants physically present in the audience and others participating online. The robot moved around the audience, transmitting images to 600 online participants. Engineers plan to conduct more detailed studies on the capabilities of the inflatable body using computer model. They also intend to expand the range of available gestures and develop new scenarios for using the inflatable robot, creating more opportunities for remote communication. Write in the comments which of the robots shown in today's video impressed you the most. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like it and subscribe to the Kara Show channel. Also, check out our previous videos. See you next time.